Hello all and welcome back to Scotland and the Isle of Mool. Today it's our last day on the island and we still need to visit the Isle of Iona and hurry to catch the ferry that will take us back to the mainland and continue our travel to the next spot on our route. After a short drive we bought our tickets and embarked on the small ferry for the short crossing. The Isle of Iona is a tiny island of the southwest coast of Mool in the Inner Herbrides. It's only 1.5 miles wide by 3 miles long with around 170 permanent residents. Despite this, Iona has a special place in the heart of many people the world over. Iona has a long and illustrious history and is well known as being the cradle of Christianity in Scotland. early Christian story begins with Columba, a prince from an Irish noble family. In his youth Columba became a priest and missionary monk, founding several monastic houses in Ireland before a tribal feud forced him into exile. In 563 he and 12 companions arrived by Coracle to Iona, part of a colony in mainland Britain occupied by fellow Scots from his area of Ireland. For the next 34 years, Columba and his monks from their base on Iona pursued an active missionary outreach of what has come to be known as Celtic Christianity throughout the Western Isles and up into the northeastern part of what is now Scotland. Columba died in 597, the same year which saw the arrival in England from Rome of Augustine sent by the Pope to convert the pagan Angles to the Roman style of Christianity. Before the arrival of Columba, people were already living on this island. We can imagine them tending the land, rearing animals, raising families and using their skills and ingenuity to survive. This pattern of island living has continued throughout the centuries. Columba's successor, still based on Iona, carried out the work he started, extending their missionary reach to the north of England and even into continental Europe. In 664, at Whitby, a church synod decided that the Roman style of the faith was from then on to be the dominant one in the mainland Britain. The Celtic way continued, albeit with less energy, still centered on Iona for some time. In 802 the settlement of Iona was laid waste by a Viking raid. But enough history for today, if you would like more recent information about Iona you can visit a great website welcome to Iona.com with all the information you need about this unique island.
What a beautiful place. Sadly, we cannot stay for too long as we need to catch the second ferry that will haul us back to Oban on the Scottish mainland and we can continue our drive south to our next destination. That being said, we welcome you to return for another day of our Scottish adventure. Please click that like button and let us know what you think about the videos we upload and if you think Scotland will be on your list of travel in the near future. See ya!